up y'all it's amber here and i'm checking in for the first vlog on amber's <laughs> y'all it's been so long if you've been riding with me since i was a flight attendant then you know i kept saying i'm a vlog i'm a vlog i'm a vlog all y'all have gotten is instagram posts but i'm so excited i'm so happy to finally be putting some action behind those words so plenty more to come i'm not even about to get sentimental but i actually want to hop right into things um you're gonna probably see this before the vlog and then you're gonna see some like um like a little outro the same thing one second okay anyway um so i have my notes here and I'm just going to go off what you guys asked me on my Instagram page, Instagram.com slash Amber Sky Club. And we're just going to go in order, okay? So let's begin with why I got veneers. Um, so why? So basically, insecurities. I mean, I'm just going to be super transparent. Um, I've always had like gaps in my teeth. And growing up, braces was expensive. Braces are still expensive. Like, why is dental work so expensive? Anyway, dental work is expensive. Um, I wanted braces growing up. Never got them. Finally got to a job where I had the benefits and I could afford braces. I couldn't and this was on a flight attendant salary I could not afford them but I did have an HSA account and if you know or was it a, no actually it was a flexible spending account and if you know about a flexible spending account you know you get a lump sum of money up front that's later deducted from your paycheck so I got like the maximum amount that you could get I think it was like two thousand six hundred fifty dollars and I immediately I was calling around and at this time I was based in Cincinnati and so I was calling around. I was like, do y'all take FSA? Do y'all take? Like, I was going to get those braces. I wanted my perfect smile. <laughs> and mind you, this is like 2018. So I'm calling around and I find this orthodontist. And they're like, yeah, we accept FSA. Come in, get a consultation, blah, blah, blah. Y'all, tell me why I went to that consultation. <laughs> and those folks put braces on me the same exact day. They swiped my FSA card, took $2,650, and I had braces. Same day. That simple, right? Y'all, I had no idea. Mind you, my anyway, got the braces put on, and mind you, I'm a flight attendant. I have to talk. I have to, you know, do announcements and things. The braces hurt. Like, I can't even, I hate it. I hated the braces. Like, if I could have snatched them off same day, I would have. But I'm like, I invested this money. The smile's going to be worth it. Blah, 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 blah. Fast forward. Mm, braces was trash. I I was very irresponsible. I did not keep up with my appointments. I no longer was based in Cincinnati. Moving around. And let's just say I was irresponsible. Fast forward December 2022. Um, mind you, I have been looking at veneers for years at this point, to be honest, but they were so expensive. I'm like, I'm never going to be able to afford veneers. Like, it was just so expensive. The prices I was seeing quoting, I didn't want to do it. I didn't know how to do it. Let's say that. I didn't know where the money was coming from. Like who who's going to supply these veneers? So um, time passed. I still have braces on. And I'm like, the moment that I'm more secure in my job, my career, I'm, I'm going to get my veneers. Um, so fast forward. When I started getting serious about them, probably like 2022, early 2022, um, I did a lot of research. Like I researched for months and I always knew I wanted to go to Columbia to get them. Let's just start there. I always knew I wanted to go to Columbia because I don't know. Their work is just totally different than the States. Um, their prices, totally different um, than the States. And I'll get into that at the end of the vlog. But 
I always knew I wanted to go to Columbia and get them done. Um, I did get some quotes from maybe one or two doctors in the States. I mean, outrageously priced, like twenty to $30,000 for veneers in the States. Anyway, so I did my research and of course the best research is social media. I'm all on Instagram. I'm just digging around then I go on Google reviews and I go YouTube reviews. I went on TikTok to see some reviews before I actually chose my top three dentists that I wanted in Columbia. Um, but I don't veer it off already. Anyway, why? That's the first question is why? Um, insecurities. I want a perfect smile. I never had like a super full smile and that's something I always wanted. I love a pretty smile and I feel like your teeth are like your selling point. Like the mouth. This is what people see first. And of course my face is beautiful. Like I'm never insecure about my face. But my teeth. I could use some help. So anyway um that would drove me there and also it's not like this was my first time traveling abroad and i'm just going for strictly medical tourism i travel hence the name amber sky club but i don't know somebody may be watching this video who have no idea who i am and that's perfectly okay but you'll probably get to know me and i travel a lot so going international leaves to get my teeth done did not scare me at all i rarely i barely have any fears um honestly when it comes to traveling so if i was able to find it for a better price better doctor i'm hopping on that plane because now it's a two for one for me i'm getting my teeth done and i'm traveling and that's exactly how this trip went for me i'm super grateful super grateful super grateful for the opportunities but I work hard like none of this stuff is giving to me so let's just put that out there I work very hard and I just feel like when you want something you're gonna work hard to get it and that's basically just how I went um so I'm recording. So guys, just got to the gate. We have to make a stop in Miami first. Anyway, um the flight isn't until 11:25 and it's 9:34 a.m. So yeah, we got here super super early. But you never know what Atlanta TSA like. It can be up or down, but it went so smooth today. And we went through the North checkpoint because we're flying American. So yeah, it actually has been pretty smooth. So we're probably about to go get something to eat and just relax until the flight. So I'll check back in when we're boarding. because we have like a four hour and 55 minute layover and then we're gonna go grab some food and just relax until our flight leaves in a few hours guys so i told you we're on the layover for how long is it four hours 55 minutes welcome ladies thank, thank you, you. Can, we the um, can i start with a glass of pago and water on the water yes water yeah. so guys i wanted to leave to go to Yardbird. If you know, you know Yardbird is so good. They have it in Miami, Vegas. That's only two places I know. I think they just built one in Georgia, but it's like on the outskirts, so that don't count. Um, but anyway, this is called Spring Chicken. It's by Yardbird. Granted, they don't have like the full chicken menu, but they have substitutes, and this looks 
bomb so I'm very excited my sister saw this on the website and decided this so we'll see thank you quickest custom I've ever been through in my life. It literally took one minute. I don't know if it's because we were in first class and we were the first ones there or our flight landed so late, but it was a breeze. So now, unfortunately I had to check my bag even though it was a carry-on because I had two purses and my carry-on. So now I'm just waiting for that to come. And then we're out of here. <laughs> So this is when you first walk in. Sweet style and hardwood throughout. This is like the dining area. Also the TV. And then this is like the little kitchen area. We got some snacks over here. And they also have like a little mini bar beers and stuff like that then you walk in then this is the actual bedroom area here and then here's the bathroom pretty nice and spacious and the showers here with a little seating area in the back so yeah so this is the mall that's also connected to the hotel, which is also connected to the office. There's plenty of shops. Downstairs on the first floor, you're gonna find a casino. Oh, wow. Oh, they go to the beach. Ah. There's a food floor downstairs. Okay. Right, right here. Okay. So, ladies, welcome to Go inside. Nice to so meet you. Welcome. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. So nice. How are you doing, ladies? Okay, guys. So, basically, this was my first day meeting with Dr. Juan Camilo. Um, he was just asking me how was my stay so far and was everything good and as we expected and it was. Um, he was also letting me know that 
um, everything that was going to be done for my appointment today. He had a wonderful translator. His name was Gio. Um, he helped a little bit. That's him right there. Um, very kind. The office is very nice and clean and a beautiful view of Cali. Like it was so, so pretty. So guys, after my first initial appointment at the end, I was able to select the color of veneers I want on a scale of one through four, one being the brightest. I went with two, a more natural white. Guys, so I'm back from my appointment now. Um, the office is actually connected to the mall, which is connected to the hotel. So. It worked out perfectly. So I went to my appointment, my sister tagged along with me, and then we left and went to go get some food. I was kind of nervous to eat because I had to get my gums contoured. So I got two shots on this side and two shots on this side of my gums to numb them before I actually got my gums contoured. So I was a little nervous to eat, but I was able to eat like some fries and I ordered me a drink. So, I should have cleaned this mirror before I got in here. Let me see. Okay, it's a little clean on this side. Anyway, so we did a little shopping, just browsing around, wasting some time because this is practically a free day for us. And then we went to go eat, and now we're back in our room. Um, I just took a Tylenol. I can actually already feel it kicking in because my gums are a little sore from the needles now. I didn't feel them at all when he injected me. But now I'm starting to feel it like up in this area. So I took the Tylenol and I'm actually already starting to feel it work. So I'm going to take a little nap. I'll see y'all when it's time for dinner. And then, yeah, we'll see where we go from there.
founded the city. day it's the weather's been kind of down but anyway um i'm excited because today is the veneers day um, i actually get them put on um i'll show y'all more when i get to the actual appointment but let me go ahead and finish getting ready and then i'll see y'all once we get to the office bye
I'm so sorry for how the vlog ended. My camera died. Have a break. Cheers. Okay, so like I was saying, I'm so sorry for how the vlog ended. Um, my camera died and I was out at a restaurant and it was our last night. So I didn't think to like bring the additional batteries that I do have. So I'm going to link the Amazon link for the batteries I bought. It was like some additional batteries. So in case your camera dies, you can just pop a new one in. And I didn't bring those last night because I'm like, y'all, I don't know about y'all, but I get homesick. I'd be so ready to go. And I was there for five nights. So by the last night, you can imagine how I feel like my veneer is already on. Like after they were on, I, I could have left the same night. But I'll get into that later um but anyway my camera died so it just abruptly ended while we were at the restaurant um i think the mariachi band was playing but whatever um i'm gonna still update y'all on what happened so basically after that we ate we went back to the hotel and we left the next morning and we went back to atlanta so that's all that happened y'all ain't missed nothing um so i'm gonna go ahead and answer i have about four or five more questions that were asked on my travel page on instagram.com slash amber sky club um and let's just start with we can we just go in order um the people want to know who was my dentist and where did i get them done um so let me just start and say i got them done in cali columbia um beautiful city most people know um of the capital which is Bogota and there's another city who has excellent dentists um called Medellin Colombia <sighs> wonderful doctors in each city like I said you do have to do your own personal research I'm just telling you how my experience went um as far as my dentist my dentist was Dr. Juan Camila um he is located in Cali Colombia and I had an amazing experience um from the top let me just say i don't know about y'all but if i want something i want it done right then and there so when i finally did all my research and i reached out to dr juan camilo's office i was like i'm payment ready like deposit ready i want to get this done as soon as possible this was in december 2022 and he was like we're booked to may um no like 2023 my goal was to get my teeth done as soon as possible i wanted it done in 2022 but these things be so booked up y'all so booked up with people from america that look like us they be booked but i reached out i was like like i love first of all i loved his work um did research excellent reviews um i even y'all i'm i'm so in extensive with my research i went to his page saw some patients he did and dm them on instagram like okay tell me really how was your experience but we'll get into that later straight um, up from the beginning he was very nice um i sent pictures of my teeth and um i basically got a consultation via whatsapp and he basically let me know at that time when I sent the original pictures, I still had braces. So, of course, I had to go and get those removed and blah, 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 blah. We'll discuss later. Um, so I did have to go ahead and reach out to him via WhatsApp where we communicated primarily. Um, to be honest, y'all, I wanted to get them done when I messaged him in December. So... I'm like, I'm ready to get them done now. He was like, we're booked to May. Which is leading to my next point. Of course, you guys wanted to know how much, how much, how much I got to spend. What's the price? What's the price? So let me start from where I just ended and say that for me to get this February appointment instead of the May appointment, I had to pay an additional $500. And this was to skip the line he called it a VIP service because I was like, I don't want to wait. Like, this is something I really wanted. And if I want something, I'll pay whatever. I will pay whatever. So I can really just get it done. Like, that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to get it done. 
Um, so I paid an um, additional $500. I believe at that time, because his prices have went up since I booked in December, but at that time, the travel package, which included 10 veneers up top, 10 veneers at the bottom, your hotel stay is included, and your driver to pick you up from the airport and take you back to the airport was $4,900. That's how much I was quoted after I had my consultation and I wanted to move my appointment up to February. That was $500. And then I had to pay an additional $150 to $200 to get my gums contoured. And I do want to put a disclaimer here. Everyone won't need their gums contoured. So my price is not going to be your price. Especially as the doctors keep getting more notoriety and people are booking more. Of course, they're going to... Inflation is real. But... <laughs> um, I had additional services added on. So of course my price was a little higher. Um, I had to get my gums contoured. Um, like I said, I had spacing in my teeth and my dentist even told me, my orthodontist, I'm sorry, when I was in Cincinnati, he told me that once my braces like start moving and my teeth are moving all in my mouth, that my gums were going to come together it, basically it's just extra gum that needs to be removed it ain't like the you know gum up top it's more so the gum on the actual enamel so it had to be removed um to give you you know this amount that you're looking for um so with that being said my total price with the um extra five hundred dollars to be moved up to february and I, I had gum consoring. So my total price happened to be $5,560. And like I said, that included 10 veneers at the top, 10 veneers at the bottom, and then a gum contour, $500 to move up to February instead of May. And the hotel stay for five nights and round trip airport transportation that was the price and you can pay debit cards credit cards i believe don't quote me on credit cards if it's not i'll put it in here i gotta go back to our whatsapp messages but and also cash um i don't think they take discover and i must say that a lot of places in columbia do not take discover i don't know what that's about but they don't take discover but i pay it in cash just putting it out there um so we went over who my dentist is i will link him in his instagram below where cali columbia you'll see all of cali in my video um price just went over that pain um i have a high pain tolerance so like i said everything i'm saying is subjective it may not hurt to me it may hurt to you i don't know but it's not a painful procedure to me um the most painful part was actually getting my gums contoured. So with getting my gums contoured, I had to get four injections in my gum with a needle. Um, and it was basically um, an anesthesia so I wouldn't feel the laser literally burning my gums, trimming off the extra gum that I didn't eat. So that was probably the most painful part. But then again, in some areas, I didn't even feel it um dr jc he rubbed some ointment on my gums to basically numb them before he stuck me with the needle the needle i didn't feel it at all it didn't hurt one bit um and then like i said the actual painful part was the gum contour your gum contouring you can find plenty of videos of that on youtube they're using a very 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 thin laser to trim your gum your extra gum and it's heated so it's literally just burning it off so um it will kind of like scab but not really like i can't really explain it like it's not it's not excruciating pain but you're gonna feel it a bit more in certain areas especially where there is like way more gum and after that that was pretty much my pain from that i will say 
I did when I got home because my mouth is numb leaving my first appointment, right? And I get back to the hotel room and I take a Tylenol and I just sleep it off. So I'm feeling fine and the numbness wears off, but I'm starting to feel like a bit of soreness like up here where I was actually stuck because you're stuck with a needle. You're gonna feel that at some point, whether it's before or after. Um, so I did feel that. And the very next day, my lip was swollen. If I'm not embarrassed enough, I might insert a little clip, but my lip was swollen. I look so stupid. We <laughs> was taking um, a city tour the very next day, but I didn't care. I was outside. I was like, I want to see this beautiful city. And um, it didn't hurt or anything. It was just swollen, like right here in the middle. I could, you can even see my top teeth. Um, someone asked me, were your teeth shaved like into little shark bites? And no, they were not. Um, they were shaved though. I'm not saying they weren't. I'm just saying they were not shaved into little bites. They were mostly shaved for the shape. So um, typically when you're getting veneers, um, it's the very, very, very thin porcelain piece that's going over your actual tooth. And it has to be shaped a certain way. Like you can't have one long tooth here. One, I'm not saying that happened to me. I'm just saying you can't have that. And my doctor, he just wanted to shape my teeth so they weren't like little bitty nubs that you see like the little shark teeth no my teeth if I take the porcelain veneers off now my teeth are still going to be their regular size that they were before just a tiny 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 bit shaved down for shape to shape the top row um now we're pretty much on the last question and it was like how are you post op I don't consider operation like it was really nothing to me but post-op and is there anything that I can't eat so how I'm feeling post-op I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all at a certain point I was like what did I just do <laughs> because it's you're adjusting even now I'm still adjusting like I never had a lisp in my life but when I got out the chair I was like huh I hold on like my mouth isn't used to just being this full so it's an adjustment like everything else is that's new in your life and I was second guessing it for a very short short time afterwards because I was like oh my god like if you can you can feel when you're first getting done like this is something new in your mouth on your teeth I had to practically learn how to eat again like I'm not kidding I the first meal I ate I bit down wrong or something. I said, like, are these veneers gonna pop out my mouth or something? Because I feel like I couldn't even eat straight for so, 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 so long. Like, even at dinner that same night, I didn't eat that food. I didn't eat it. And just throwing it, the food wasn't good. That food wasn't good. I had excellent food the whole time, but that food on that last dinner that y'all see in them last clips was not good. The dessert was okay, the drinks were good, but the food was not it um anyway let me get back to the topic um so yeah I had to just adjust and I just wanted to be patient with myself because I want things and I want it right then but I realized like you literally just got a whole porcelain pieces on your teeth like just calm down just relax um but the aftermath now i can tell you what's today today's february 28th last day black history month happy black history month but i'm adjusting way better now like i'm eating better my speech isn't as weird as it was when i first got out that um chair um but i feel like i can tell y'all a little more about the aftermath and how i adjusted um let's give it like two to three months and then i'll make another video for y'all um can't eat <laughs> if you know you know i love me a crab bowl and i get real ratchet when i'm eating the crab bowl like i want to crack the crab with my teeth and <sighs> i can't do that anymore so yes it saddens me so yes it saddens me because i'm a crab bowl connoisseur like i want to crack the crab i want to get all up in it real 
intimate with the crab. I can't do that no more. Um, Dr. JC also told me no hard candies. Mm, you know, like the hard lifesavers and hard mints and stuff. I mean, I don't really, I'm not a candy eater, so that really didn't bother me. Um, super hard seeds. Seeds. See, I told you I got a list. But like seeds. Mm, I don't even eat. I don't eat sunflower seeds. Um, what else was on the list? Bones. Y'all, I don't know why, but on that list, it said bones. And I was reading it. I'm like, who who is eating bones? Like, what human is eating bones? But, you know, if you like wings, I'm from Atlanta. I love wings. And I ain't saying I bite the bone, but I kind of gnaw on it a little bit. So, I have to chill on that. Um, <laughs> but I feel like that's anything hard. You know, you know, you know what food is hard. Like, anything hard, just just chill out even though i must say that paneers are very very durable um dr jc used the emax veneer brand on me and they last up to 15 to 20 years with proper care so of course i'm taking care of these bad boys these are an investment to me and they're going to be treated as such um oh also before i forget actually let me show y'all one second okay y'all so I like to keep a lot of things in stock and when I know I'm getting something done I like to I don't say I overbuy things but I definitely like to be prepared so um, at the end of my appointment Dr. JC requested or suggested that I get a water pick and this is the one I got and basically this gets the pressure is insane. I almost drowned the other day using this. But you fill the back up with water. This is this specific brand, Fairy Wheel. You fill the back up with water. And these are the options you have. So you have clean, soft, and massage. I like to do soft starting out. They suggest that you use soft because you're just getting acquainted with this. And this gets really deep into like your gum line in between your teeth. It's basically a water floss. It's using the water pressure as floss between your teeth. And this works amazing. Like I love this. So if you're considering it, make sure you get you one of these. I love it. So that's that. Um... A lot of people, I didn't know this. I don't know anyone personally with veneer. So I never heard of this, but apparently veneer breath is a thing. Um, I don't know why, but <laughs> if you're not taking care of your teeth in general, flossing, brushing your teeth, mouth washing, fluoride, your breath's gonna stink. But you're putting a very thin porcelain enamel over your teeth you definitely need to take care of your breath and your teeth in general so i don't know what that's about but what i'm going to show y'all now is my little mouth bucket <laughs> this goes in my um linen closet where i have all my other toiletries and cosmetics um so this is basically how it looks and i got a bunch of mini um mouthwashes and i'm gonna keep them in my purse i got some on the go placards floss just to have you know i think that's very important um some listerine sprays Let's see if y'all can see those keep those in my purse as well keep a bunch of soft toothbrushes that's another thing you have to use a bunch of soft toothbrushes i originally had like um what did i have i had the electric toothbrush and i loved it but i had to go soft because if that electric toothbrush tried to chip one of these veneers anyway um also i love this brand i know some of y'all probably heard of this therabreath it's their fresh breath oil rinse, bites bad breath for 24 hours, 
works instantly to target bad breath germs no alcohol artificial flavors or or colors and it's non-burning um, and the flavor is the invigorating icy mint so i love this brand um i also like their their gum rinse one that's what i was using when i took my braces off just to ensure that you know i was super 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 healthy before i got them put on and lastly um just some more floss picks like I feel like these are just essential because you want to make sure you're getting the teeth out. Flossing is important just in general, but when you have veneers, you really want to make sure that you're getting in between those teeth and getting any gunk or food out because that is what ultimately contributes to bad breath. So let me sit this out the way. Um, so that's pretty much all my notes I have here. I'm very sorry I wasn't able to stick my camera up as the veneers I actually get put on, but try to explain as much as possible um, what's going on within each clip. So with that being said, I think I'm about done here. Um, I'm trying to remember, is there anything I'm forgetting? I don't think it is. I don't think it is, y'all. Um, so I guess I can just give y'all a tour of my mouth. Like, we a little close, but y'all tell me what y'all think. Like, is it giving Nene leaks? I don't know. Y'all let me know, but... Thank y'all so much for your support. If you've been following me since I was a flight attendant, then you are real. You the real day one. And I love you guys. And I appreciate the support. Whether I get one like, 400 likes, the support is there. And I really appreciate this ride that you're taking with me on Amber Sky Club. So y'all, we need a gang name. I was thinking Clubbers. Is that corny? Y'all let me know. I don't know. I think Clubbers is cute. Like, hey, what's up, Clubbers? Clubbers? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. But let me know. Comment below. Comment on my travel page on Instagram. Just let me know. Like, I love to hear feedback. Some of y'all be a little quiet. But I know y'all watching. So I'm going to wrap this vlog up. And we'll see y'all on the next trip. Bye. Look at this.